Hello everyone, today we have a short but sweet video for tips and tricks of the Pixel XL and it will also apply for the Pixel 2, uh, the normal version, both the second generation. Um, they basically are the same, this is the Pixel 2 XL. So my name is Jared from TechWorks and we are going to get into some little nifty tidbits of information. So here we go. So one of the big things that Google announced with their phone is this active listening feature. And basically, if you don't know, what it does is if you're out at a cafe and this song is playing that you really like, this phone is actually going to detect that song and put it in your notifications or right here at the bottom of the screen of the always on display, which is a great feature, but it does take some battery. The easiest way to get to this is if you go up and go to your settings, type in, um, let's see if song, there you go, now playing is actually what it's called. So right here, you can turn it off or on, and you can turn on the notifications off or on. That's the easiest way. It will end up saving you just a little bit of battery, nothing crazy but it will help so that's one thing another thing is your squeeze feature right so this has a squeeze feature similar to the HTCU uh, smartphones and a lot of times this will go off in my pocket you pick up the phone you grip it or if you're shooting video in a tripod maybe you're sitting your clamp and it kind of uh, sets it off right so the easiest thing to do again go to search there is a lot of other ways to get to it but I just like typing it in and get you right there so squeeze for your assistant which is actually in what's called active edge and here's what you can do you can turn it all off you can customize how firm or how light the squeeze is and you can turn it off completely so that when your phone is in your pocket it's really not a big deal so there's the two big things I'd say are uh, some easy tips another one is the display color and contrast so a lot of people had issues or complained that the pixel 2xl screen didn't really pop as much as say a samsung or another device screen did and google did release a fix for that and another way to also pump up your saturation or your contrast is really just by going to display on your phone you can go to advanced and down here where it has colors, you have three options, natural, boosted, saturated. So boosted is that new mode that they put in with their update. Saturated is where I'm at because it makes the colors really pop. And I don't know if the camera really does it a lot of justice or not, but it makes all the icons look nice. It does bring it up similar to what I would say uh, a Samsung Note 8 display would look like. There is other displays. I will say that this is a very nice display. There is ones that are slightly better slightly better contrast this is a little more muted in comparison and as you can see as I tilt the phone you do have a slight blue shift and on the topic of blue shift many smartphones have blue shift it is not just this phone it just so happens that people caught it right away and they decided to make a uh, rather large deal out of it this time it's not a big deal probably shouldn't be there honestly I don't notice it when I use my phone so there's that Another thing, which is a good nice little tip and trick, so if you're going to shoot video, this phone does shoot 4K, but actually, for example, if you're going to use it for going to YouTube, um, I would say actually the easiest is shooting 1080p 60 frames, which is a lot nicer. So it, it's kind of a good combination of both quality and speed and size. So 4K video does take a long time to shoot, and it does take a lot of space. So you put it on 1080, and you go up here, you have a choice of 30 or 60. 60 frames does look really nice, nice and smooth when you move it. Um, it it's just a good middle ground between 4K and Full HD. Not so much a tip as it is just a, uh, a notice, right? So another thing with Android 8.1 now, because Android 8.1 is out, the Pixel devices did receive their OTA. There's a few things that happened. Shout out to Hope on Deck. 
can't do a video without her. Uh, you do have AR stickers similar to what the iPhone 10 has. So you can actually download the app. And then once you have the app, which I believe is just called AR stickers uh, or something to that effect, it should have downloaded automatically. But you can go to your camera. Again, on your side mode, you have AR stickers. So, for example, I could place uh, BB-8 from Star Wars right there. And you can touch him and he does stuff. Or if I want to drop a Stormtrooper in, there he is. Um, so it's kind of cool. It, it sets a little scene. I don't know if they interact with one another. I don't think they do because right now bb 8s kind of awfully close to the Stormtrooper. But, again, it's just another tidbit uh, that your phone can do, which it didn't do before. There's a whole bunch of different characters. You can do text. You can do some objects. You can just do... They actually have a thing for Stranger Things. For people who are really into Stranger Things, you could put a uh, Demogorgon right on your table. So that's pretty cool. So just another little feature. And you can take a photo of that or you can take a video of that after. So that's a nice little tip and trick. Uh, other than that, you know, it is pretty straightforward Android. You have your normal... Uh, home settings, things like that. You can have your display. You can actually change icons, uh, which is kind of uh, something people would only get if you use Nova Launcher or people who have OnePlus devices. They can always change their devices or their system icons. You don't have the option, I believe, of downloading additional packs that you find on the Play Store, but you do have Teardrop Circle, Rounded Square Square, and System Default, which does just change the general appearance. So I did teardrop. Now you can see all the icons have a little tail. Uh, I don't believe all icons get it. No, like YouTube Studio does not. Some of these things do not. It has to have the adaptive icon, uh, which was new in Android 8.0. All right, I am back. Sorry about that there, team. I had to take that phone call. So anyway, I was talking about the notification dots on the home screen. So you can turn them off which is similar to um, like on iPhone or on iOS having the little dots. As you can see right now, I got the little dot on Gmail. just means I got an email as well as the notification at the top. No big deal. You can turn them off. And really, other than that, you know, um, the Pixel is pretty straightforward with a lot of things. It also has, you know, a lot of cool features similar to the active display, the squeeze function for Google Assistant and everything like that i hope this video showed you a little bit about you know some of these features how to turn them on how to turn them off uh you know there's tons of stuff you can go through all the little things but uh for the most part i believe that's kind of the core things as far as what people want to see um you know change your wallpaper all that stuff is pretty straightforward pretty much what people have done in the past but uh so anyway, this is Jared from TechWorks. I hope you enjoyed this short little video of tips and tricks for the Pixel 2 XL and just the Pixel 2 because it will work the same there. And uh, I'll be back again with some more videos. See you later.